Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to uh, show you one simple animation uh, using Animate CC. Uh, I'm not sure, but two years ago, I don't know, two or three years ago, uh, I uploaded uh, one video tutorial making car animation along a path using Adobe Edge Animate CC. Uh, Edge Animate, uh, that was one of my favorite program by Adobe company. But um, it's gone. I don't know if you remember that. Uh, but there was a request to make the same tutorial uh, using Anime CC. So that's what we're gonna do today. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so uh, here we are. Uh, so let me show you first the, uh, the final version of this. This is a really simple animation. Just like this. Okay, so um, let's start from the very, very beginning, from the scratch. So we're going to create, I'm going to show you how to make this kind of really simple uh, drawing using Adobe Illustrator first. Uh, if you know how to do it, you may skip this portion. Uh, so let me open Illustrator. Uh, I'm going to make a new document, uh, 640 by 480 pixel. Great. Okay. So first, uh, I'm gonna draw kind of a asphalt road. Uh, no straw color, and then a fill color will be kind of a like dark gray. So let me draw maybe something like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna have uh, the line using maybe yellow and straw weight. I'm not sure. Straw weight. Let's do just a ten for now, and let's see how it works. Hold down the shift. A little long. Maybe it's too thick. And then on the color, maybe this works better. Okay. And one more. Let me group them. Select all and alignment. In the middle okay so it's okay kind of a road uh, now let me add just one more uh, maybe a black I want to have some kind of a border top and the bottom so let me make a copy okay so it's okay <clears throat> and not too too bad <laughs> kind of a simple illustration okay so um, what i'm gonna do now is let me select uh all open brushes panel and just drag and drop into this brush panel so i can register as an art brush okay you see that okay now we don't need this anymore uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw uh, one kind of a simple line. And let me add anchor point in the middle. And I'm going to convert that as a kind of a curve. Maybe like this. Okay. Maybe something like this. And then let me apply uh, my stroke and then let me apply this the yeah, art brush I just created. Yep, so I got the road. I'm going to extend it a little bit here to there. Okay. 
and uh, it looks kind of too okay thick so let me change the straw weight a little bit I'm gonna rotate it a little bit more so this is the uh, kind of a road I'm gonna use okay and then um, <clears throat> also I want to have um, kind of a background let me choose the color the field color is going to be kind of a green okay and then let me arrange and send to back and let me draw another 640 by 480 pixel dimension rectangle on top of everything and select all command a and under the object menu clipping mask okay so it's very simple <laughs> but okay kind of illustration and uh, let me save this for web export uh, save for web I'm gonna save as just a JPEG and okay save it to Yeah, since I have a road already, let me name it as a road number two dot JPEG. Okay, now I'm ready. So let me open a uh, new animate CC file, new document. We're going to keep the same size, 640 by 480 pixel, HTML5 canvas. Uh, okay, so let me create it. think 80 percent should work okay now let me import um, the background image to the stage road number two that's the one okay so it fits and then make and let me rename this layer as a road and make a new layer on top this layer will have a car and then uh, you can download the um, uh, the car image I provided from the link. Also, you can download this background JPEG file as well. Okay, import uh, to stage uh, the car PNG file. It's a transparent uh, PNG file. Okay, and with the free transform tool, I'm going to rescale, make it a little bit smaller, rotate it. Maybe a little more. Okay. okay. And let me move back. So it starts driving from the, um, uh, I mean, out of the stage. Okay. So we're getting in there. So first the thing is I'm going to animate it uh, from here from the departure this point to the destination to here. Okay. So uh, this is really kind of a simple steps. So select your cars layers uh, first keyframe go to insert menu create motion twin because we're going to change the path motion twin and then on frame number 24 insert the keyframe so we have a destination the problem is my background is gone so I just need to uh, expand it from 1 to 24 the last keyframe by inserting just a frame because we're not going to animate anything on this background image okay so on car layer the destination will be different so uh, we start from here on frame number one but on frame number 24 on one second mark this will be ending somewhere here okay yeah so we have basic kind of animation but 
this car doesn't follow the road the path so we need to change the path so the easiest way is I'm going to place my um, uh, play hat somewhere in the middle maybe like here frame number 12 or 13 doesn't matter somewhere there and insert a new keyframe okay so we have three keyframes then now place your mouse cursor over your path kind of a first half somewhere in the middle of a first half now you can see that kind of little tiny arc um, under my mouse cursor and keep pressing your mouse button and drag it something like this I will do the same thing on my second half of my path now when I move my mouse cursor over hover over this path see the kind of arc and keep pressing your mouse button and drag it so we can change the path okay so see what happens hit the return so it follows the path so kind of a halfway done but on car is it looks like a kind of floating or flying or a kind of a, yeah a sliding on the road so uh, there's a one little thing we need to make some changes so in your car once you select your car and choose in your properties panel this object is about the information about your car now choose your frame there's an ease option and orient to path check this box orient to path and we're done see so this car is now following and also at the same time the head of this car is orienting to the path like this so still you can change the some make some changes change your path like that just a little bit so it has a kind of a better driving path yeah, I think it looks better okay and then also there's one more we can try on your car frame uh, ease option let me try the yeah, maybe a um, positive 100 and see what happens it's getting slower or let me try negative 100 is in it's getting faster okay so let me test the movie command return so this keeps happening okay so this is a really simple animation so um, that's it thanks for watching and see you next time